B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 so much fun. Best education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus away. Hello and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Seb. I'm Chicklin. So Chicklin, I have to tell you about something that happened to me oh, this、what? morning. I was at the MRT station、mm -hmm. and I was getting off the train、mm -hmm. and I saw someone waving at me. <laughs> so I waved back and I said hi. Okay, was there someone that you know? No, it was a stranger. But I,、uh, you know, someone's friendly to me, so I'm friendly to them. Pretty awkward. But then I realized they were waving to someone. Behind me, they weren't waving to me. To you, okay. Yeah, so that was yeah, that was pretty awkward, right? That happened、yeah. to me before. Yeah, awkward things happen to us a lot, right?、Mm -hmm. Awkward. That's that's ganga, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Ganga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, I don't know. Like one time, I、um, wished my friend a happy birthday.、Mm -hmm. Only it was actually two days before her birthday. And what、so. did she or he say? What did she, she say? She was like A for effort. <laughs> F for results. So、okay. you tried hard, but you didn't do well. Has anything awkward ever happened to you?、Um, when people see me and they're like, "Oh, Chickling, hi!" I'm like,、mm -hmm. uh, "Have we met before?" And I kind of forget who she or he is. Okay. Well, I mean, you're kind of famous as well. So、uh, no, well. I kind of forget. <laughs> I forget people easily, and I don't do it、mm -hmm. on purpose. I、mm -hmm. try my very best to remember everyone, but it's kind of hard. I mean, all the names、mm -hmm. and all the looks. Yeah. But remembering what someone's name is 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 probably the first thing you want to do to have a comfortable conversation,、yes. right? And that's what we're going to talk about today:、mm -hmm. comfortable conversations. So let's get started. Tips for comfortable conversations. Nancy is outside her apartment with her neighbor Donald. Where are you going? I'm going to the bank. What will you do there? Take money out. I'm going to pay my rent. How much is your rent? Do you make enough to live on this expensive street? Uh. Nancy is waiting in line for the bathroom with her classmate Claire. My boyfriend didn't call me yesterday. He's terrible. Don't you agree? Maybe he was busy. He needs to call me every day. Doesn't he care about me? Apartment, apartment. Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. Neighbor, neighbor. Mike's neighbor took care of his cat for him during his vacation. Mike's neighbor took care of his cat for him during his vacation. Live, live. Sam lived in Gaoxiong when he was little, but he moved to Taipei later. Sam lived in Gaoxiong when he was little, but he moved to Taipei later. Call, call. Nelson called his boss to tell her he was sick and couldn't work today. Nelson called his boss to tell her he was sick and couldn't work today. 认识智慧 Rent. Boyfriend. Okay, so the title for today's article is. Tips for comfortable conversations. So, comfortable conversations—they're、mm -hmm. conversations which aren't awkward. So,、mm -hmm. you know, where both people are—you know—they're happy, they're comfortable.、Yeah. No one's saying anything stupid.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of conversation. 
。好，我们来看一下、嗯、comfortable conversation， 就是我们要怎么跟人家适当的交谈，就是舒服的嘛。comfortable 是舒服的、嗯，就是不要造成别人尴尬。然后就是也不要让别人不舒服。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Yeah. So you know, nice, easy conversations.、Mm-hmm. And we're starting out with a dialogue, with a、um, mm-hmm. a conversation between two people. And we have some brackets here describing、mm-hmm. what's going on. So it says Nancy is outside her apartment with her neighbor Donald. Okay, so、okay. Nancy 跟她的邻居 Donald 在公寓的外面 What are they doing?、Mm-hmm. What are they doing? Well, they're well, they're standing outside the apartment,、mm-hmm. aren't they? The apartment, by the way, that's、mm-hmm. a noun, and it's spelled A P A R T M E N T. Apartment. Let's find out what it means. Okay, so an apartment is a, a somewhere you live inside a larger building. It's not the same as a as a house, which is a whole building just for you. Instead, when you live in an apartment, you just live in a big part in part of a bigger building called an apartment block or gong yu da lo.、Uh, normally, apartments have kitchens, bedrooms, living rooms, and bathrooms. So these are all rooms inside your apartment. Now there are different types of apartments too. We can talk about studio apartments. Those are little apartments with just one room and maybe a bathroom as well, or a penthouse, which is a very big apartment on the highest floor of a building. So that's a very expensive apartment, very fancy, very elegant apartment. Or if you're a student or you don't have a lot of money, you might live in a shared apartment. And that is when you and some friends or some strangers all live together in one big apartment. So you just pay for the room. Anyway, here's our example sentence for apartment. Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. 好，那我们来看一下 apartment 这一个字。apartment 就是公寓的意思。那么刚刚老师老师有提到的字呢， apartment block 是英式的用法，公寓大楼。但在美国，我们比较常说 apartment building。那老师有提到几个字，我们来讲一下、哦。studio apartment 就是套房的意思。那老师刚刚也有说到 penthouse， 这种是一种顶层公寓，非常的贵，大部分很贵，因为很豪华。那最后一个 shared apartment 就是共用公寓， share 是分享嘛，所以被分享的公寓就是共呃共用公寓， right？ Yeah, oh right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so many gongs. 对，很多学生，大部分 a lot of students they、mm-hmm. usually rent a shared apartment because it's usually cheaper，、mm-hmm. 比较便宜， mm-hmm. 大家就可以分租。Mm-hmm. 好，那我们来看一下例句，刚刚老师的例句。Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. 意思就是说呢 ，Lisa 去年买了她自己的公寓，然后搬了进去。That's a very grown-up thing to do. Have you、yeah. bought your own apartment or not you... yet? I'm renting it. Ah,、uh, you're renting. And my、too. parents are helping me rent. Oh, okay. Well, that a lot of us have that. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I'm renting a tiny little studio apartment. In Taipei,、right、that happens.、Yes. But I have a good relationship with my neighbors,、oh. and that's our second word, neighbor,、mm-hmm. which is a noun, and it's spelled N E. I G H B O R neighbor. So a neighbor is someone who lives close to where you live, normally on the same street. In small towns, neighbors might be a little bit like friends and come over to your house to borrow things like a cup of sugar or just have a nice chat. In cities, though, people might not even know who their neighbors are because there's so many neighbors in one space. Now, there's different kinds of neighbors as well. We can talk about your next door neighbor, and we put next door with a hyphen in between next and door there. So your next door neighbor is someone who lives in the next house to you. So right on the left of your house, or right on the right of your house. Or we can talk about someone who lives in the next apartment being a next door neighbor as well. Or we could talk about someone being a nosy neighbor, and that is a neighbor who always wants to know what's going on in your life.、Uh, they want to know, you know, have you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Is someone sneaking into your house late at night? They want to know all the gossip. That's a nosy neighbor. Anyway, our example sentence for neighbor though isn't really a nosy neighbor sentence. It is Mike's neighbor took care of his cat for him during his vacation. Mike's neighbor took care of his cat for him during his vacation. 
所以 neighbor 就是邻居的意思哦。It is a noun。那么老师刚刚有说到的 nosy neighbor， 就是很鸡婆啊，很爱管闲事， mm-hmm. 很爱知道别人在干嘛那一种邻居。A little bit annoying.、Mm-hmm. And the、yeah. adjective form for a neighbor is neighboring， which means next or near to each other，、mm-hmm. 就是邻近的意思。那我们来看下面一个小例句哦。Kentucky and Ohio are neighboring states、oh.。就肯塔基州跟呃。<笑> Ohio， 在彼此隔壁。<笑>好，那我们来看一下下面的例句。呃，老师刚刚的例句， mm-hmm. 老师刚刚的例句是说 ，Mike 的邻居在他放假的期间帮他照顾他的猫。嗯哼 ，I like cats. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't know that Ohio and Kentucky are right next yeah, to each other. Yeah, they're yeah. neighboring. That、states. was news to me. <笑> Um, okay, so our dialogue is starting now. Our conversation、mm-hmm. is starting now. We have our first, our neighbor Donald. He's saying, "Where are you going?" Oh, so he just asked Nancy, "Hey, you're going to where?" So where is where? 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 So where is Or、mm-hmm. is I come from Japan. That you 去哪里上学 Where do you go to school? You can say I go to school in Ilan or Taipei or anywhere.、Mm-hmm. And 或者是你问人家哎你在哪里呀 Where are you? 那你就可以回答、mm-hmm. I'm in the office or、mm-hmm. I'm in school. 或者是某物在哪里 Where is it? 你就可以说 It is in your bag.、Mm-hmm. So lots of different uses for、mm-hmm. where.、Yeah. So Donald is asking Nancy where she is going, and Nancy says I'm going to the bank. 然后那样子就说，我要去银行。嗯哼。So Donald seems to be a little bit of a nosy、yeah. neighbor because next he says, "What will you do there? Take money out?" <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a personal question, you know.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, 我们来看一下。所以呢， mm-hmm. 他就说。嗯，哎，你要去哪里啊？你要去银行吗？你要领钱吗？ Mm-hmm. 所以 take out 就是把东西拿出来的意思，我们可以翻成领钱的意思。Mm-hmm. 那一般来说，我们会说 withdraw 就是提取的意思。比如说、mm-hmm. ，I'm going to withdraw some money， 我要去领钱。嗯哼 ，Okay， but that seems. Oh yeah， Nancy says that she's going to pay her rent. She says I'm going to pay my rent. Okay，, okay.、Mm-hmm. Nancy 要去付房租。那 rent 就是房租的意思，在这边当名词也是可以当动词的意思。当动词就是出租、租用的意思。For example, he rents a room to a student.、Mm-hmm. 他出租一间学生给一位学生。那又或者是你也可以说 ，You should rent an apartment that is near your office.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so rent can be a noun and a verb, then,、mm-hmm. can't it? Okay, cool. So Donald、mm-hmm. seems to not be happy with that information. He、yeah. wants more information. He says, "How much is your rent?" <laughs> You can't ask someone that. This is too personal. Yeah, in lots of places, if you ask someone how much their rent is, that's a really private thing、mm-hmm. to ask. It's like saying, "Do you have a lot of money? Are you rich? Are you happy?" <laughs> you know, these are things that if you ask a stranger or your、yeah. neighbor, they're going to think, "Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> a bit of a big、you? question." Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 所以他就问说：“你的房租是多少呢？”啊，这个邻居真的是有点烦了、哦。Mm-hmm. 怎么可以问人家房租多少 ？Unless you're really close to each other, I think it's fine. But if you're just strangers or neighbors, I don't think it's appropriate. Yeah, actually, I have a friend who always does that. Every time when I've I've rented an apartment or、mm-hmm. gone to a hotel or got a train ticket, he's always like, "How much did it cost?" And whatever I say, he's always like. You spent too much money. That was too expensive. Oh,、yeah. that is so annoying. Yeah, he's very nosy. <laughs> anyway,、uh, Donald has more questions. Surprisingly,、mm-hmm. he says, "Do you make enough to live on this expensive street?" <gasps> wow. I, I didn't okay. see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> 好，他就说，哎、mm-hmm. ，你赚的钱足够让你住在。这么贵的地区吗？ Okay. 这么贵的街上吗？ It's none of your business, okay? It is none of Donald's business. Donald <laughs> is nosy and he's judgmental.、Mm-hmm. Judgmental people are people who make strong opinions、yeah. about other people without listening to them. Okay, so we saw the word live there as well, and that's a verb, and it's spelled L-I-V-E. Live. If you live somewhere, you have your home in that place. We can talk about the towns, cities, or countries we live in by adding the preposition in. So, for example, I live in Taipei, but I used to live in Spain. But we don't ask someone where do you live in. We just ask where do you live. So,、uh, Chicklin just explained that. So, what do we say when we stop living in one place and start living somewhere else? We can say we move somewhere or we move house. 
So again, looking at my example from before, I could say I lived in Spain before, but then I moved to Taipei. Now I live in Taipei. So uh, do you make enough to live uh, on this street was one of the things that Donald said. Uh, what he's saying there is do you have enough money to have your house in this area? So some neighborhoods are very expensive and it costs a lot of money to be there. So we say it costs a, a lot of money to live there. So our example sentence is Sam lived in Kaohsiung when he was little, but he moved to Taipei later. Sam lived in Kaohsiung when he was little, but he moved to Taipei later. So make 在这边就是赚钱的意思哦。那 money 我们这边省略，因为通常我们在对话中就会知道对方的意思了。所以 make enough 就是做的够不够，那意思就是哎你赚的够不够。那么 live 就是居住的意思，文章中是当动词。那当形容词或副词的时候，念法是 life， like a life concert. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 然后课文的例句，不好意思，呃，那个就来，呃，呃，呃 ，example sentence in our lesson， 我们来看一下老师刚刚讲的那句。小时候 ，Sam 住在高雄，但是后来就搬到台北。This is me. Yeah, I moved to Taipei two years ago. You did? Yes. Okay. 那一般来说，如果你问人家住这里附近嘛，就会说 Do you live around here or do you live here？ 你住这边吗？那么如果不是长期住，我们就会用 stay。那问人家待多久，就可以说 How long is your stay？ 嗯哼。Or we could also say, going back to your sentence before, we mm -hmm. could say, "How long have you been living here?" Oh, so, yeah. how long have you been here?、Mm -hmm. Anyway, Nancy doesn't have lots of questions like we do. She just says, "Um," because now she feels awkward、mm -hmm. because of all of Donald's questions. Ah, so Nancy just 傻爆眼啦，她好尴尬。I would like to, I would want to stop this conversation if I, if、yes. I were Nancy,、mm -hmm. and just run away.、Mm -hmm. I think I would just drop my bags and run away. <laughs> Um, so anyway,、mm -hmm. we have a second situation now.、Okay. So we've got two conversations actually, and this one says、uh, has the description says that Nancy is waiting in line for the bathroom with her classmate Claire. How is it? Nancy and her 同学 Claire 一起排队在排队等上厕所哟 And Claire's saying, "My boyfriend didn't call me yesterday. He's terrible. Don't you agree?" So terrible there means、mm -hmm. really bad. So Claire is complaining. She's saying her boyfriend is awful. And don't you agree? That question at the end is basically saying you agree, right? So sometimes we say things in negative、mm -hmm. to ask a question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 好，所以我们来看一下 Claire， 她就说，哎，她的男朋友昨天没有打给她，她真的好糟糕哦，你不觉得吗？ Mm -hmm. 那么 boy 是男生 ，friend 是朋友，加在一起理所当然就是 boyfriend 男朋友， mm -hmm. 那女朋友就是 girlfriend。And what about 你的前男女朋友呢？就是 ex boyfriend 或者是 ex girlfriend。那我们通常简称 ex。Ex、mm。-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we also saw the word call there,、mm -hmm. and call is a verb, and it's spelled C A L L. Call. Okay, so we have a regular verb here. It, the forms are call, called, called. And when we call someone, we ring them on the phone. Claire is upset because her boyfriend didn't talk to her on the phone yesterday. Claire sounds a little bit needy. We could also say that Claire's boyfriend didn't give her a call too. So we can also use call as a noun: give a call or call someone. We can also call ourselves a name. So I could say I am called Seb. That's another way of saying my name is Seb.、Uh, other phone words we could use though、uh, could be、uh, pick up the phone or answer the phone. So if someone calls us, we can pick up the phone and say hello. Or once we're done talking, we can hang up the phone. It's actually what happens when we put the phone down. We're not actually hanging it up on the wall, but we hang up the phone when we're finished talking to someone. Or we can send a text message or send a message online if we want to send a short written message to someone's mobile phone. Right. Our example sentence for call is: Nelson called his boss to tell her he was sick and couldn't work today. Nelson called his boss to tell her he was sick and couldn't work today. 好，所以 call 就是打电话的意思。那在文章中是当动词哦，直接在后面加上你要打电话那个人，你。
当就可以就好了，就是 call someone， 譬如说 I want to call Seb， 我要打给老师，我就会可以直接在后面叫老师的名字。那当名词的时候，我们就可以说 to give somebody a call。And if you want somebody to call you， you can say give me a call or hit me up。Hit me， hit someone up 也有联络某人的意思。所以刚刚老师提到的字，我们来讲一下 pick up the phone， 就是接电话 answer the phone 接电话，挂电话就是 hang up。那如果挂某人电话，我们就可以说 to hang up on on someone，、mm. 那就可以说 Why did you hang up on me？ 你为什么挂我电话？ Mm-hmm. 那这件事情 send a text or send a message or line， 呃、uh, ，online 在那个 line 上面寄讯息， mm-hmm. 这件事情可以直接说 to text somebody。嗯哼。And 课文例句，我们来看一下。Nelson 呢打电话给他的老板，告告知他今天他生病，不可以上班。嗯哼 ，OK， so he's calling in to take a sick day there.、Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to Nancy and Claire, and Nancy says maybe he was busy. So Nancy、mm-hmm. 就说他可能很忙吧，所以才没打给你啊。嗯哼 ，But that doesn't seem good enough for Claire. She、no. says he needs to call me every day. Doesn't he care about me? Yeah, Claire is really needy.、Mm-hmm. She's you know one of those. Girlfriends, or we can have boyfriends who are needy too. But、uh-huh. we, she's one of those girlfriends who really want lots of love and attention. So、uh-huh. if she doesn't get love and attention, then she'll just like stamp her foot and get in a bad mood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'll look at Claire. She says she needs to call me every day. Does she care about me? So、mm-hmm. cared about means to think that something is important. It's the meaning of care. So. 那个老师刚刚讲到 needy 这一个字，就是很需要关注，一直要需要爱的那种人，就可以叫他们 needy。Mm-hmm. 那我不在乎呢 ，I don't care。我们也可以说 I couldn't care less。Yes， I couldn't care less、mm-hmm.。Um， so well， Nancy again， she feels a little bit awkward because she's saying <laughs> um <laughs>。That's how we can read that um there um。<laughs> And anyway, that's actually the end of our article.、Mm-hmm. But it, there is enough time for us to quickly go to our magic box, and then we'll be right back for review time. Magic box, 找亮点 Hello, 大家好，我是 Kathy. Make 这个字大家都认识，但是呢，学英文学了一段时间之后，你应该有发现 ，make 的用法跟意义实在是太多了，很需要把它们一次整理在一起吧。今天就让 c a s e y 来跟你介绍一下 make 这个字吧。首先呢 ，make 有制造、生产某个东西的意思，就等于比较难的两个字 ，produce 跟 create 这两个字，都可以一起学起来哦。举个例子 ，My grandma made all her clothes by herself. 我奶奶自己做了她所有的衣服。再来呢 ，make 还有执行啊，或者是做某件事情的意思。For example, LB always has a hard time making the decision. LB 他呢总是很难以下决定。或者呢 ，make a mistake 犯错。这边的 make 也是同样的字义哦。接着呢 ，make somebody do something 的用法就是大家之前也学过的实义动词啦。复习一下 ，let make。Have 这三个字后面加上某个人，后面再直接接上原形动词，就有着叫某人做某事的意思。举个例子 ，The movie made me cry。这部电影呢让我哭了出来。最后呢，今天的重头戏要来啦。Make 还有一个很重要的意思哦，就是赚钱 ，make money 这样的意思。它跟 earn 是一样的哦。So we can say she made a lot of money at her job. 他靠这份工作赚了很多的钱。好啦，今天学了这么多 make 的常用字义，都记下来了吗？赶快来一个小测验复习一下，该怎么说 ？Jason 靠画画赚钱呢？休息一下，大家马上揭晓。拜拜。The answer is Jason makes money by drawing pictures。你答对了吗？ Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。Okay, so we are almost out of time today, but we have just enough time for one quick、mm-hmm. round of Pictionary.、Oh, so, do you know how Pictionary works, Chicklin? Um, I actually have no clue. Oh, okay. Well, it's a fun game. Basically,、mm-hmm. what we do is we draw a picture、mm-hmm. on the whiteboard,、oh. and then you have to guess which one of today's words that picture、it、is. Sounds fun. Yes. So, I have already drawn a picture, and it's this. Oops. So, what do you think? What could it be?、Um, Which one of our words? I think it could be an apartment. An apartment, really? Oh.、Uh, But these are separate buildings, you know. 
Oh, so yeah, we have these are houses. These aren't apartments. Two people in there. Yes. So, mm -hmm. do you guys have an answer? Do you guys have an answer? I think the answer could be neighbor. Right? It is right because I'm in this building, and then my neighbor is in the next. Oh, building. Oh, your nosy neighbor so is my right nosy here. next door neighbor <laughs> is in the next building. Anyway, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to work out the other words from today's article. But you guys can play Pictionary now. You can see if you can remember what the other ones were and what they mean. Mm -hmm. But for A Plus English, I'm Seb. I'm Trickling. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Tips for comfortable conversations. Nancy is outside her apartment with her neighbor Donald. Where are you going? I'm going to the bank. What will you do there? Take money out. I'm going to pay my rent. How much is your rent? Do you make enough to live on this expensive street? Uh. Nancy is waiting in line for the bathroom with her classmate Claire. My boyfriend didn't call me yesterday. He's terrible. Don't you agree? Maybe he was busy. He needs to call me every day. Doesn't he care about me? Word <laughs> power. Apartment. Apartment. Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. Lisa bought her own apartment and moved into it last year. Neighbor, neighbor. Mike's neighbor took care of his cat for him during his vacation. Mike's neighbor took care of his cat for him during his vacation. Live, live. Sam lived in Gaoxiong when he was little, but he moved to Taipei later. Sam lived in Gaoxiong when he was little, but he moved to Taipei later. Call, call. Nelson called his boss to tell her he was sick and couldn't work today. Nelson called his boss to tell her he was sick and couldn't work today. Rent. Boyfriend.